Tonight, two investigates and covers a paper trail of delays before a man's death at Alameda County's Santa Rita Jail that perhaps could have been prevented. You go to jail, that should not mean you're going to die there. That should not be a death sentence on top of your sentence. There are also serious questions about a private company that gets tens of millions of taxpayer dollars to, prov to provide health care to inmates at the Alameda County Jail. KTV's Eric Rasmussen started with a tip from a family member and found warning signs going back months before the man's death. Eric. Can records show Mario Martinez was waiting five months for surgery to remove nasal polyps, making it nearly impossible for him to breathe through his nose. Despite court orders, he was still waiting when he collapsed and died last month at the Santa Rita Jail. Two investigates discovered his case is only the latest to raise questions about a company that provides inmate health care all over the country. It was my son. You know, he mattered to me. He, was, he had the right to live. He had the right to medical treatment and they refused to do that. Tanti Martinez is speaking about the death of her son Mario at the Alameda County Jail for the first time, but she says it won't be the last. I know that my son's life could have been saved. I know that without a doubt. Already asthmatic, records show a doctor diagnosed 29-year-old inmate Mario Martinez with nasal polyps in February and suggested surgery. Yet over the next two months, a judge twice had to order the jail's health care provider, Corizon, to treat Martinez. In April, a Corizon doctor wrote, patient states he can't breathe. But Martinez wasn't taken to see a specialist at Highland Hospital until June. And he was worried. He was worried. He was having a hard time breathing. He was asking mom, when is the surgery going to happen? When is it going to happen? There's court orders. When is it going to happen? Martinez was still waiting on a pre-op appointment the morning of July 15th. My son, my son started having an asthma attack in his cell. Deputies and inmates give different accounts of what happened next, but shortly after paramedics arrived, 28 minutes later, Martinez was dead. Have you gotten any answers? No. Horizon? No. From the county? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. Alameda County has a contract with Horizon Health worth $237 million since 2008. Earlier this year, the county and Horizon agreed to pay more than $8 million to the family of an inmate who died at Santa Rita in 2010. Two investigates found Horizon has settled other similar lawsuits across the country worth tens of millions of dollars. In the last three years, the correctional health care company has lost contracts in five states. This is Eric Rasmussen, reporter with KTVU here in Oakland. We called an administrator for Horizon at the Santa Rita Jail. She promised to call us back, but instead the company emailed us a statement saying they are deeply saddened by any negative medical outcome and that its nurses and doctors work in an extreme difficult setting to provide the best possible medical care for hundreds of thousands of patients. Family and friends of Mario Martinez aren't satisfied. They're demanding Alameda County investigate his death and cancel its contract with Horizon. Oakland civil rights attorney John Burris took Tanti Martinez's case and has his own theory about why her son's surgery was delayed. When you really get down to it, that looks like an economic decision that was made. We do not want to spend the money unless we have to spend the money. You think this is about money? Money could have solved this problem. All they had to do was take him to the medical facility and have the surgery performed. Should the county still be doing business with Corizon? That's, that's probably a question that's not best suited for me to answer. Alameda County Sheriff spokesman J.D. Nelson pointed us to county leadership but said the sheriff was out of town. Two investigates calls to the county administrator's office haven't been returned. And generally speaking, for as many people that come through our jail, we do a good job. Do things happen? Have things happen? Absolutely. But we do try to make sure they don't happen again. A goal now shared by Tanti Martinez. While her son was awaiting trial on an attempted murder charge, she says the punishment didn't fit the crime. You know, you go to jail, that should not mean you're going to die there. That should not be a death sentence on top of your sentence. And that's what happened to my son. Now, late this afternoon, we received another email from Corizon saying it determined the care Mario Martinez received was, quote, medically appropriate. Tonight, his family tells us his cause of death is listed officially as acute asthma respiratory failure. Well, nothing is going to bring back Mrs. Martinez's son, but where does she go now from here? Well, one of the demands that she and her family members are making is that the jail conduct a complete, full investigation. You saw that they've hired civil rights attorney John Burris. He says they're in the investigative stage. 
it wouldn't be a surprise if this ended up in a courtroom. All right, Eric, thank you.